Hi everyone. This is the first video of two um, for decomposing a number into prime factors or making a factor tree. So we'll start off uh, by talking about what kind of numbers you could do a factor tree for. And of course, there are infinite. Um, most of the time, depending on your grade, you'll see either uh, smaller numbers for factor trees or larger numbers, but they're all based in the exact same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a smaller number, a two-digit number, and then we're, the next video you'll see will work with a three-digit number instead. So we'll start off with a number um, 36. Okay, now you're going to see a lot of options for factor trees depending on the number. Um, and factor trees can look differently as well, uh, depending on what factors you choose. So for example, a number like 36, there are a lot of different factors you can make, uh, use to make 36. You can use six times six, uh, nine times four. It doesn't really matter which one you tr choose as long as um, at the end, when you have your prime factorization, if you did it properly, it will all end up being the same thing anyways. So it's just important to check that if you are going to do more than one uh, factor tree for the same number, just to make sure that you have the same answer at the end. OK, so when you start decomposing a number, um, so it is important that, you know, uh, for the purposes of this video, uh, what a prime number is and a composite number is. Um, so if you ask yourself, what is a prime number? Remember that it is a number that has two factors, one and itself, and that's it. And uh, that means when you get to the end of the factor tree, uh, all the numbers at the bottom should be only prime numbers. That's how you know that you're finished, um, as opposed to a composite number where it could be decomposed still. So uh, something to pay attention to when you're making your factor tree. So 36 is, of course, a uh, composite number. So we're going to decompose it into a factor tree right now. So again, it doesn't really matter what factors you pick. Um, I'm going to pick uh, 9 times 4 for this one. OK, so you start with the number that you're decomposing up at the top, and then you break it down. So what is 36? 9 times 4 is the one that I'm going to use. So uh, depending on your teacher, uh, they might ask you to put the multiplication symbol in there to show that you are multiplying because it is a factor tree and factors have to do with multiplying. Um, sometimes I put it in, sometimes I don't. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. Just be aware of what your teacher wants. Um, I find that, of course, the larger numbers that you get to, um, the more things that are happening in the factor tree it does tend to get messy. So just be really careful when you're putting the number there in the first place. And if you're deciding to put those multiplication sim symbols, just be careful. For our purposes, I'll put that there for now. Okay, and then, of course, we're going to ask ourselves the next uh, level of the factor tree, the next branches, um, we have a 9 and a 4. Now, 9 and 4 are both composite numbers, so we're going to decompose them further. So how do you make 9, or what two factors make up 9? Well, I could do 3 times 3. All right. And then what factors make up 4? A 2 times 2. OK, so a couple really important things to keep in mind here. Every time you're decomposing a number and bringing it down to the next level, please make sure that the numbers stay on the same line. You see how the nine times four is all on the same line here? And then when we're decomposing the four and the nine again, it always stays on the same line. It's really, really useful when you're trying to keep your work organized and clear. And it's a lot um, easier to read your answer in the end when it's all done anyways. So then we're gonna go to the bottom and see what numbers we have left and if we are gonna decompose anything further. And I know my prime numbers, and I hope you do too. So looking at the bottom here, I have a 3, a 3, a 2, and a 2. And yes, they are uh, both prime numbers, so we do not have to decompose them anymore. Now, some people ask, well, yes, technically I can still decompose my 3 and my 2 and say, oh, I'm down here and I'm going to put um, 3 times 1. Well, don't do that because uh, one is one of those exceptions with the prime numbers, right? And um, if you keep doing that, 
your factor tree will never end because you will keep putting times one uh, every single time. So when you get to a prime number, that is where you stop. Okay, so this is gonna be the end of this particular factor tree. Like we said, this is a short one. So when we get to the end, this is where your prime factorization is going to be. I know it sounds super fancy, you can impress people, but all it is is the answer in the end. So we only want the prime factorization for 36. We're gonna take our answer and put it in exponential notation. So using exponents. So de again, depending what grade you're in, sometimes your teacher will just let you leave it like this. And of course, adding the multiplication symbol at the end. Because if you check on your calculator, and if you did it right, if you type in three times three times two times two in your calculator, it should equal 36. Then you know you did it right. And then, um, as you advance in the grades, um, they'll ask you to add an extra step and put it in exponential notation. So how we do that uh, to find the answer is we're just gonna take how many times each number is presented, okay? So if you go back to what you learned about exponents, here we have a two times two and a three times three. So we have two to the power of two also known as two times two, that's this part, times three times three, which is also known as three to the power of two. There it is. So you can say that 36 equals two to the power of two times three to the power of two. And also notice that um, you always put the smaller number first, so you're putting in an increasing order uh, to make sure, again, to keep it organized and to make sure you didn't forget any numbers. Okay, so that's the first intro for a smaller factor tree. And then tune into the next video where we'll uh, do a uh, triple digit and break that down into another factor tree.